In this Microsoft Excel video, I'm going to show you how to execute subquery with common table expression to calculate running total. And we're going to be focusing on a table that is stored in a sales data database in my SQL Server Management Studio. We're going to focus on the running total by taking into consideration two main columns, the account manager and the total. Now, what is CTA? It is basically a named temporary result set that can be referenced with either the select, insert, update, or delete SQL statement, and it helps greatly to improve the readability of complex SQL queries by breaking them down into smaller chunks. So, enough of talking, let's get started. Now, before we head over to Excel to write the code, I'm gonna show you the data that we're gonna work with. And of course, we can see we have this select top 10 star from fact table. So this is just the top 10 rows. And let me make this to be a little bit bigger so we can see. So this is the name of the table. And of course, we can see the name of the database. Now let's go to Excel. Now in Excel, this is just a blank Excel workbook. To connect to the data in the SQL Server Management Studio, I'm going to click on the data tab and under the get transform data group i'm going to click on this get data and of course we can see different kind of options from file from database from azure platform and so on and so forth now we want to get from database and of course we want to get from sql server database in the sql server database now we need to provide two things first is the server name which is compulsory and the second is the database name which is optional now i'm going to come to the server and type in the name of the server abiola david 01 and of course the name of the particular database is sales data so sales data and i'm going to click on this advanced option and this is where we're going to write our code just like we do in the new query window in the ssms so we can write our code here now let's begin with the CTE. So I'm going to type in wait. This is just the definition of the CTE. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to just call it CTE and use the as. So I'm going to open two brackets. And now inside this bracket, I can go ahead and select my column. So I'm going to select. Now let's select the account manager. Now the account manager is a name of a column. And of course, it's just a two word. So that must be inside square bracket. So account manager and of course the second column is going to be the total column don't forget we have the total column when i scroll to the right you can see we have the total column and then when i come i think in the middle we have the account manager there we go so let's go back to excel and then put in a comma click enter now i can go ahead and use the sum function on the total and then close the brackets so i'm going to use the over clause and inside opening and closing parentheses we can use the partition bar the partition clause would divide the result set into partitions based on the account manager column we're going to specify. So partition, partition bar, and then inside the square bracket, we're going to point to the account manager. And I'm going to order by, I'm going to sort the data by the order date. So open and close bracket, and of course, I'm going to type in order space date. And I'm going to call this or alias as running total. Okay, click enter. And of course, I'm going to select from now the name of our table is um, fact table. Let me double check to be sure. Okay, yeah, fact table. So let me make this to the capital letter, the T. Okay, and come outside the bracket and just select all the rows. So select star from then i can select from the cte name we define so cte now these are all the code so we can go ahead and click on ok and let's see the results amazing so we can see that we have the result in this previous stage so we can go ahead and load directly into an excel table so we can see the queries and connections and there we go so our cte is working right in Microsoft Excel. This is super amazing. I'm going to apply currency formatting. So Control Shift right down arrow key, Control Backspace, Control Shift 4 to apply the currency formatting, and that's cool. Now let's see the running total. Now for the first account manager, Abiola David, the first total is 4,757, and of course we have the same value. So when you add the second transaction, 
that's going to give us in the status bar 6066 and there we go so you can see the run tutor is working so when i select all these values for viola david that's going to give us 13,868 and we have 13,868. That is working fine. Now, the amazing part of this running total is that I'm going to scroll down to the last transaction for Abiola David. There we go. So, this is the last transaction for Abiola David, and that gave us 69,318 as the total. And we can see for the next account manager, Charlie Adams, we have the running total starting all over, which is super amazing. So, we have 142. 42 pounds and we have 142.46 pounds and of course when you add up this three we have the 3803 and 3803 so this is basically how the running total can be executed or fired within microsoft excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers